Well, as I look at it, I really don't have a lot to say. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about me. I was born and raised in a Catholic church. Um, and when I was on the altar when I was 11 years old, God told me, I heard him tell me, that there's more to me than this. If anybody that's in the Catholic faith knows that it's very strict and there's not a lot of, I never seen the Bible when I was growing up. I mean, it sat on a table, but we didn't learn it. I went to Catholic school and I learned all about Jesus, but I never read a Bible, never opened it. And so when I was 17 years old, um, I started going to a Baptist church and I found out what salvation was all about. And I can tell you, that it changed my heart and my mind and how I looked at everything for the rest of my life. I can tell you that God will take care of every one of your needs. I can tell you we'll go through trials and tribulations because he promises that. He tells us we will go through trials and tribulations. But I will tell you that God will be right there by your side if you would be by his side and never leave him. If you hold on to him, if you let him, he will speak to you. I have many... I, write all my scriptures and the things God tells me on three by five cards because I look back at them over the years and see what he has told me and what he has promised me. And I continue to stand on them promises because that's what he's told me, that I can have faith in him, the faith of a mustard seed, and I can depend on him. And I will go to my death believing that. Okay, I have a daughter that is a practicing homosexual. I believe that she will stand in a pulpit someday and preach for God. I have dedicated her since her birth. I have believed every day for her. And I believe that will happen, just like God says it does. And I have no doubt in my mind. So I know it will happen. So my faith is in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want you to all to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and know every small detail that you do for him or about him, or what he puts on your mind, he will use. I can tell you that this church has richly blessed my wife, my wife Chris is sitting in the back, has richly blessed us. Because what you've done for us, the words that was written when my wife was going through trials with her eyes, and how it touched her, and how she is healed today. So I know that each one of you have an effect. Don't ever doubt your effect that you're having, because you're touching somebody's life. Robert and I got to be friends because I reached into a book and called a phone number because he built cabinets, not knowing that our lives would be married forever. And they truly have been. He's been a true blessing to me, Amen. a true blessing. And I can tell you that his faith is like a rock. And I depend on him, and I pray for him, and I lift him up every day and his family. And I'm believing for his family too. Those of you that are sons and daughters that are out there, I'm believing for you. And I'm believing that just as the promise was given to Robert and it was given to me, that all his children, all his children will live to serve the Lord and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. I believe it. So use your words. Use what God gives you, the gifts that God gives you, and you all have them. You all have specific gifts that God has given you that you can use to affect somebody's life. Whether it's just a written word, whether it's a phone call, whether it's a prayer, whether it's speaking the word, whether it's teaching, whether it's working with kids. I was the youth director for many years. You all have a calling. Listen to what God says. Be in the quiet time with him every day. Listen to what he says. He'll use you. You don't know when you're touching people's lives. You have no idea. I have no idea when I reached out and called Robert that it would change our lives forevermore. Amen. All right? So use it. Listen to what God says and use that word. Use what he tells you. Whether it's real small and you think it's insignificant, you think you can't do it. You think you can't write that letter. You think you can't say that. Well, I challenge you today to put your faith out there and to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Have faith in him and do it. Amen. Don't doubt it. Don't second guess it. Just do it. Yeah. All right? And I can tell you that's how I've tried to live. Have I failed? Yes, I am a rotten sinner. And I always will be. But God has blessed me and I am forgiven. And I confess him as my Savior in front of you again this night and tell you that you can too. Just put your faith out there and believe in him. 
Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Get into the word and believe. And it will change your life forevermore. Then listen. Get quiet and listen. Because he will speak to you. You think it's never happened. Get quiet and listen. Get quiet and listen. Read. Listen. It'll come. And the Lord will speak to you and you'll have something to do. You have a purpose in life. You have something to look forward to every time you get out of bed. And your children will be saved. Your children will have a purpose in life. Your children will have something to do. So believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and put your faith in him and everything will be fine. That's what he tells us. He tells us all things are possible through him. My girl, who is a homosexual, will believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. She will walk with him again. She will stand in the pulpit somewhere and be used for a purpose. I know she will. And I know all you will too. So thank you.